Hey, YouTube. Welcome into a very special hockey-only episode of New and Old Funkapop Unboxings. As you can tell, we are National Predators fans. Season hasn't gone how we'd like it to. But, but you know, hey, that's... You they know, can improve. They, they, yeah. They can, no, everybody can always improve. That's right. They can always get better. So, uh, But that's not the point. The point is that like we Like our a, subscribers can get better. Sure. But we, <laughs> I, I have a mountain of hockey pops to unbox here on this episode. But Miguel doesn't collect hockey pops. He doesn't even really collect this whole line at all, and so and to be one hundred percent honest, he's a casual hockey fan, like a Preds fan, yes. but doesn't really watch the sport on his own. No, and so therefore we figured, you know what? I'll just go ahead and take this episode solo, as to not waste his time. Mm -hmm. So, McGillney, before you go, is there anything you'd like to say? Um, actually, yes, there is. Okay, you you have the floor, sir. I have the high ground. Mm. Okay, not really. Right. I have the mic. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, shout out, um, I would like to, um, shout out to, um, one of my classmates, um, Brinkley, um... She's a fan of the channel, I think, right? Yes, yep. she's a big fan of the channel, mm -hmm. and, um... We appreciate her subscribing yes, and watching. Yes, we, we appreciate her subscribing, and, I mean, hey, what's up, Brinkley? Yep. And, um... I would just like to shout out to Brinkley, and yeah. Okay, and now you're going to take off, I think. Yeah, I'm going to leave you guys in the boonies, okay? In the boonies? Yeah. Uh, hey, I'll be here with my hockey pops all day long. Okay. I am Jeremy, and I'm old. I'm a Gilney, and I'm new. Peace. <laughs>
to find them for me. Let me know what you found. We cross-reference what I already own, and then you sent me this gigantic box, which I very much appreciate. So here we go. Box number one. We, <laughs> we have wrapping paper. We got some paper towel. This is all for cushion, which I love. Thank you, thank you for doing that. We have, a, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff here. Okay, here we go. Pot number one. We're going to maybe... Hmm. Bear with me one second. I'm going to try to put this down here without knocking anything over, which in this tight room is a feat in of its own. Okay, for, to pot number one. Vladimir Tarasenko of the St. Louis Blues. That's pot number one. We're not going to go through all of these, of course. Uh, meaning, like, I'm not going to get in the depth of all of them. If you're a hockey fan, you know who they are. And I assume that everybody who is watching this still is a hockey fan. One, because McGillney's not here, and let's face it, he's the personality of the channel. And number two is, you know, if you don't collect sports pops or hockey pops, then you don't care. So, uh, for all you hockey fans out there, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, first one, Vladimir Tarasenko. Okay. We're just going to make a mess under the desk here. So I can clear out... Some of this stuff. All right, here we go. Now, pop number two. The Toronto Maple Leafs, Morgan Riley. That is pop number two. Again, I should not have any of these already. I will let you know if I do. Uh, meaning, I we, again, Rory messaged me and said, I found this, 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 and this. Do you have these? And I would say, I have that one, but not these five. So send, send them my way. Number two. That's number two. Number three, Yevgeny Malkin. Yevgeny Malkin. Oh, the Pittsburgh Pittsburgh Penguins is number three. Corey Crawford is pop number four of the Chicago Blackhawks. Okay, this is probably my least favorite one. Uh, I don't like the way this player plays the game. Brad Marchand. I don't like this way. The, I don't like the way the, this player plays the game, and I'm not happy to own this, but I have to click them all. So here we are. All right, and the next row of pops is, because there's more, LA Kings Jeff Carter. That's pop number six. Nope. Six, yep. Zach Parise is pop number seven of the Minnesota Wild. Pop number eight, one, two, three, four, five, yep, number eight, is Johnny Goudreau of the Calgary Flames. This is a Canadian exclusive. These are the pops that I find extremely valuable. They may only be, you know, 12, 13 bucks, whatever, but I can't get them here in the States, let alone in Nashville, Tennessee. So the Canadian exclusives I'm very, very excited about. And finally in this box, again, thank you, Rory, pop number nine, Wayne Simmons, former Nashville Predator for a brief time, had a cup of coffee in Nashville. Wayne Simmons, pop number nine. Okay, so that is box number one. Let's kind of organize these here so I kind of know where I'm at. We're going to stick with Canada, and we're going to open this box. I brought these four pops off of eBay uh, from a Canadian store in Toronto, I believe. Oh, excuse me, in Quebec, excuse me. And they, they offered me a deal if I bought multiple, and it was... Uh, because uh, I, I asked him about shipping costs, because let's be real, shipping from Canada to the United States and vice versa is insane right now. And so I made sure that my shipping costs would not outweigh the cost of the pops themselves. It didn't. So here we go. It says, thank you for your purchase, and I have some hockey cards. So the preface that I said at the beginning of this video about hockey cards and collecting being the root of all my collecting here... Well, we're getting back to the roots. So there you go. So we have a pack of hockey cards there. It says, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yep, thank you for your purchase. Okay. Pot number one in this box, but number ten total. These are wrapped very well, so I appreciate that. Jeff Carter, which, again, I bought before I knew Rory was going to get that for me. So there's Jeff Carter. I got a duplicate there. I have a, we have a couple of Patreon supporters that are hockey fans. They might be getting some... Let me get some pops in the mail. Pop number 11, but pop number 10, unique, unique pop. Patrick Laine, now of the Columbus Blue Jackets, but of the Winnipeg Jets. And again, that Canadian sticker, that Canadian exclusive, that means the world to me because I cannot get those anywhere else. I cannot get them here in the States. 
and hobby shops don't have this kind of stuff here in the South because nobody has them to sell them to. Johnny Goudreau, another duplicate pop now. But again, a Canadian exclusive. So again, Patreon supporters. Might be getting some mail. And finally, pop number four in this box is also the Winnipeg Jets, Blake Wheeler. So Blake Wheeler is pop number... Uh, unique pop number tw uh, 12. No, wait. Is that right? No, 11. Sorry. 11. Okay. Let's move this box out of the way. Okay. And here we have a box from GameStop. Because GameStop, believe it or not, does have hockey pops. But, per usual, they only have the newer pops. So I used some uh, GameStop credit and got the newer ones. And uh, in true GameStop fashion, we have a box with no packaging materials in it. They're just loose, just shipping through the shipping through North America or wherever this was from. Well, well America, I guess. Shipping through the United States with no packaging materials. I'm telling you, GameStop, you're killing me. Why do companies do this, by the way? I mean, is it, so they save a few dollars, like maybe like two bucks. Isn't that and just to piss off a customer? I don't, whatever. Anyway, so we have pop a unique pop number twelve, Matthew Kachuk, and the Calgary Flames. Sorry, there you go. Remember, these are the new. This is the newest line now. This is the newest line. Here's Mark Messier. This is the NHL Legends series. Mark Andre Fleury, Vegas Golden Knights goaltender, who looks like they will probably challenge the Colorado Avalanche for the Western Conference Final come playoff time. Ryan O'Reilly, the St. Louis Blues, and finally pot number three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Unique pot number sixteen, Chris Le Chris Letang of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, so there you go. Number 16. Let's uh, go with this bag. I believe this, oh, this is from Box Lunch. I used lunch money for this one. Almost almost for sure. At least they came in sorters. They came in a bag, which I don't like. We talked about that on our Chase Roulette video of Aang on Air Scooter, which you can find here. And I'm not a fan of the pops in a bag. But at least these came in sorters, unlike GameStop over here. John Carlson. Of the Washington Capitals, he was second in the Norris Trophy voting to Roman Yossi of the National Predators last year. John Carlson, his unique pop number, I've lost count. We'll get to it later. And we have, again, another Matthew Kachuk. So this is a duplicate now, because again, I mean, if you order this many hockey pops, I mean, you know, hey, let's get it. It's going to get insane, right? You're going to have to do this. Let me get to this one first, actually, before we go to Canada, right? Before we continue with Canada. Let me go with this one first. This is from a friend of mine, uh, Cadets Toys. You can follow them here. He located this Carey Price pop of the Montreal Canadiens for me and went ahead and picked it up. So Carey Price is unique pop number 369. That would be 18. So let's go back to Canada here and go to K-Dog and Fish. Let's see the sticker right here. Oh, oh there you go. K-Dog and Fish. And let me tell you guys while I open this, it has been torture. Watching these boxes pile up and not be able to open them. Okay? I wanted to, continue, I wanted to get all my orders in from everywhere before I did this video, obviously. And let me just tell you, it was torture watching them all. But here's a picture of them all. And to, to see them all continue to stock, stockpile up, whew, it is very, very hard. And it took a lot of discipline uh, to not just bust these bad boys open. So we have K-Dog and Fish. Here we go. Here's number one. This is uh, number one out of this box. K-Dog and Fish sticker. They're up in Canada as well, obviously. I went straight to them for Hockey Pops. That's kind of what started this whole journey, actually. I wanted to collect all the hockey pops, obviously, but I didn't know where to go because, again, here in the States, especially in the South, can't get any of them. So, uh, this is Marc Messier. This is the Canadian exclusive. This is not the Legends series, which I saw earlier. This is a different pop. And you can see the Canadian sticker right here. So, we have Marc Messier. 
We have... Uh, per- I mean, if he's not the best player in the game right now, he's the top. Th- he's in the top three. Austin Matthews, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, Canadian school sticker right there. One of my favorite players to watch. Period. Uh, just so exciting. We have Mitch Marner, also the Toronto Maple Leafs, Canadian exclusive. And finally. Also, the Toronto Maple Leafs. That was not on purpose, by the way. Uh, I was trying to pick the pops I haven't seen really anywhere else. Get out there. Is John Tavares. Also, the Toronto Maple Leafs. And another Canadian exclusive. So, there we go. K Dog and Fish, thank you very much for working with me on shipping. I really appreciate that. Again, you can give them a follow right there. Okay, now let's go to Australia. Because Australia is the last place you'd expect to find hockey pops. Maybe other than maybe like India or something, uh, but Pop Culture has a whole stock of hockey pops, and uh, there's going to be one non hockey pop in here because I <laughs> oh, double boxed. See, see, GameStop and Box Lunch take notes. Double boxed. Okay, so let's open this up again. There's one non hockey pop in here. Because I was trying to get to a certain price threshold, and uh, and I didn't. It's the only one I didn't have in the American history set. So I'll start with that one. Because it's the only non hockey pop in this box, and it's probably the only second non hockey pop you're going to see in this whole video. George Washington. So again, not a hockey player, obviously, but <laughs> part of my American history collection. And it was the only one I was missing. So, went ahead and got that. Here we go. Pop number one in Pop Culture Box. Taylor Hall. New Jersey Devils. But, of course, he's with the Buffalo Sabres now. And by the time you're watching this, he may be somewhere else. <laughs> Who knows? Jonathan Drouin for the Montreal Canadiens. Another cool one that, again, I can't find anywhere else. We have Jack Eichel of the Buffalo Sabres. Who uh, is, the main, is a mainstay in Buffalo. But, again, considering... They're constant losing. He might be somewhere else by the time you watch this, too. <laughs> Frederick Anderson. Again, the Toronto Maple Leafs. I might have all the Toronto Maple Leafs at this point. I don't know. And this one I'm super excited about. Brock Besser of the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, I don't really know why I'm excited about this one, other than I, I like Brock Besser. But uh, I think because I didn't expect him to have a pop. I think it's probably why. But anyway, pop culture. Burger. Pop culture, thank you so much. Really appreciate you having those pops. All right, these should be going. We should be able to knock these down the rest of the way. And here's why: I've lost my blade. Did I bury it? I did. Because most of the rest of these boxes are one, 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 one. Okay, there's four Target boxes because they ship from all over the country. Uh, this one in particular, this might be the only other non-hockey pop in here. And I say that because uh, what? I bought two pops from eBay at the same time. One was Devin Dubnik of the Minnesota Wild, which, of course, is a hockey pop. And Bodie with the con sticker from Star Wars Rogue One. I didn't want to open it. I didn't want to open the eBay boxes to find out which one is which because it would ruin the Devin Dubnik pop for this video. So uh, this might be Bodie from Rogue One. But we will find out. Or it will be Devin Dubnik. Or the other. All I know is I have eBay written on it. <laughs> so I know... This is Bodie. Okay, so this is the only other non-hockey pop you'll see on this video. So, Bodie with the con sticker, which I'm very excited to own. I'm trying to collect every one of these Rogue One pops. It's a very underrated movie, in my opinion. I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I had to come around to it. I'll be honest. I had, uh, the first time I saw it, I thought the last 15, 20 minutes were some of the best 15, 20 minutes of the Star Wars universe. Uh, And then I watched it again once I bought it. Because I have all the Star Wars movies, try to collect all those too. And the more I watched it, the more I fell in love with it. And so I'm uh, trying to collect all the Rogue One Pops, and I'm super excited to have Bodhi with the constant. This package is from, oh, Hot Topic, but it looks like it's secure in here, which is great. And it is! Look at that! Sorter with some sort of packing material. So I don't know which one this is. So we'll find out here soon enough. It, and it's even got the little sleeve on it. That's pretty fun. Dylan Larkin. That's right. This was their last one they had available. Uh, 
uh, Dylan Larkin of the Detroit Red Wings. The Detroit Red Wings, excuse me. So <laughs> uh, that was the last one they had available. They used to have a few. As a matter of fact, most of these I've got. I don't know if you can see them back here. You can. So uh, Nathan McKinnon, Kucherov, Subban, basically this entire row except for Panarin, which is in the new wave. This entire row I got from uh, Hot Topic at some point way back in the day. And Larkin I left because I figured that one would be there the longest because it was on clearance at the time. And I was right. So I went back, and it was the only one left, and I grabbed it. So, okay, here we go. This is this is for eBay. This is probably the Devin Dubnik, then. If it's not, I have no idea what it is. But it's in my hockey stack, and it, it says eBay on it, so we're going to assume it's Devin Dubnik. Here we go. It is Devin Dubnik. Uh, this is a great story because I have to fill the time while I open this. This seller wanted like, I think it was like $10 free ship or best offer. And knowing that I could probably wait to get this one, it's not he's not really a popular player per se. There's Devin Dubnik with the Minnesota Wild. Not there anymore, of course. Um, I offered them $6, which is basically shipping, right, uh, for the pop, and they took it. And so uh, I got that pop for basically free plus ship. This next box, we only have one, two, three, four, five, six box, seven boxes left. I say only. That seems like a lot, but you've seen the size of the other boxes that we have. This has got one box, one pop in it. This is also from this is from GameStop, but again, packaging material. Gotta love it. This is also from the Hockey Legends collection. It's Luke Robitaille, the Los Angeles Kings, one of my favorite players growing up. Not my favorite player. My favorite player, as you know, if you've watched this channel for any length of time, is Alexander McGillney, of course. Pavel Bure, probably third or fourth. But Luke Robitaille was up there, probably in the top ten. Just really a lot of fun to watch. Played the game so clean, so beautiful. Uh, and then of course, really took off when Wayne Gretzky was his line mate, which one would. The next one is oh, this is from okay, this one's from Fanatics. And uh, okay, again, no packing material. Please stop this. Doesn't look good, Fanatics. This is my first pop I've ordered from uh, from Fanatics. This is the Marc Andre Fleury, which you saw earlier, but. It's the Fanatics exclusive with the away white jersey. Okay, so it's different. And uh, it's my first pop I've ordered from Fanatics, and I don't like how it came without any protection. I'm not happy about that, because that makes me second-guess myself if I wanted to get that Tiger Woods exclusive pop, for example, that Fanatics, that Fanatics has. Or if they drop that Michael Jordan again, which I already have, but if I wanted to get a second one, I'd be just not a fan of that. This is also from Fanatics, and it looks like it came from a different place because it actually has packing material. So we have Alexander Ovechkin, again, the Fanatics exclusive. He has the gap in his teeth on this one, which I really, really think is funny and perfect and accurate. This is the greatest goal scorer, by the way, of all time. I don't care what anybody tells you. This right here, Alexander Ovechkin, is the greatest goal scorer of all time. <clears throat> and then we have... <laughs> One of my least favorite players, not because he's not a good player. He's a great player, probably top five in the world. Sidney Crosby. But it's because, uh, it's also a Fanatics exclusive, by the way. It's because it's just so oversaturated, right? His his coverage in the media, if, if he breathes on somebody, it's news. And it just drives me crazy. I shudder to think what would have, been, what would have happened in Wayne Gretzky's career. Had we'd had 24 hour news cycle and Twitter, and it's you know, oh, that would have been terrible. This is another Alexander Ovechkin, but this one is the regular one. He's just from Target. Target had this one. So, Target. This is the OG Ovechkin, though. This is, you can see number 10 there. This is number 10 in the NHL line, whereas this one here, with the Fanatics exclusive with the gap in the teeth, is 59. So. There you go. We'll put a bitch in there. Uh, move George Washington. All right, down to three boxes. They're all from Target. Here we go. I appreciate you joining me through this episode. I know it's long. We're 23 minutes already. Uh, I appreciate I appreciate you joining us. Steven Stamkos. This is one that I missed out on at Hot Topic, at Hot Topic by the way. This is one that I thought I was going to be able to get, and I didn't get a chance to. They sold out before I could go back and get it. So you have Steve Stamkos. Again, that's the original line, just like the Ovechkin one is. And let's see here. Second to last box. 
Okay, so we have <laughs> Vladimir Tarasenko. St. Louis Blues, this is a duplicate as well. Because you saw it earlier. And from, I think Rory sent that one to me. It's all a blur, I apologize. Try opening up 20 hockey pops, 20, 25 hockey pops in 20 minutes, and it's, uh, you forget. Okay, and finally, the final pop in this video. Oh, that's cute. All right, well, there you go. So, Bre <laughs> Brett Burns, whose box condition looks just about as well kempt as he is. I make fun, of course. He's obviously a phenomenal player. He just has that kind of men that mentality and or reputation, rather, of like, just like, who cares, right? So, so Brett Burns, this one is staying in my collection for now, but I'm hoping to get another one. If you are a Sharks collector or a hockey collector and you have another one of these and you don't mind sending it my way, please do. P.O. Box is down below because that's ridiculous. I might even bring this up with Target. We'll see. I'm worried what they would say with these older pops. That's what I'm worried about. Anyway. So, th thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it again. Miguel says hello. <laughs> he went to dance. Uh, so, uh, this has been a, just such fun. Let's see. We have five. So, 10, 15. Uh, let's see. 15. We have uh, 25, 28. There's about 35 new pops in here that I'm going to add to my collection right up here. The next time you see this background, it'll be completely different. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope you are a hockey fan because if you're not... You have endured a 25-minute video that <laughs> is all about hockey, short of Bodie Consticker and George Washington. So I appreciate your dedication. Uh, if, again, assuming you're a hockey fan, I, I, I appreciate your passion for the sport, just like mine. And I hope to talk to you next time. Thank you for our amazing Patreon supporters. You make this channel happen. We really, really appreciate you. Thank you for those of you who join us on Instagram as well regularly. Click that like button, please. Click the like button below if you like this video. And please leave the. Let's do this. Let's please leave a comment below about which hockey pop you'd like them to make. Because again, assuming that you're a hockey fan, because you've made it this far, please leave a comment below on which hockey pop you'd like them to make next, like in the next wave. Right? Mine would be Roman Yossi. Okay, Roman Yossi, a Predators defenseman, a, a Switzer, an icon from Switzerland. You know, one of the the, the best Swiss born player probably ever, and. You know, Norris Trophy winner last year. Not having a down season this year, but then again, so are the Preds. So, we can't hold that against him. I, I hope they make a Roman Yossi pop, just for recognition there. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Again, this video is way too long already, but I appreciate you walking through this with me. This has been, I'm telling you, torture. Just watch these boxes pile up and not be able to open them and add them to my collection. I've finally done that. I've done that with you, and I really, really appreciate it. This has been new and old Funko Pop Unboxings, but just old. I'm Jeremy, and I'm old.